everybody, it's me, Ryan, and I'm back for story time with Pastor Rich again. Hey, do you see where I am? I'm at the Clyde, where we go to church. I've been kind of sad lately that we couldn't go to church together. So I came down here, and I called Pastor Rich, and we're going to read a story outside the Clyde. You know what? It's a story about going to church. I miss church, and I miss you. So let's see if Pastor Rich will come over here and read this story. Hey, everybody. How are you doing? And welcome to another Saturday morning story time. That's right. We're down here at the Clyde. Ryan called me and said, hey, you know, I really miss going to church. Will you meet me down at the Clyde? I said, sure I will, but you know what? We can't go inside yet. And I know that's kind of sad. I know it's kind of sad for the adults and it's sad for the kids too. We like going to church at Engage because we have so much fun just being together and singing songs and learning about Jesus and all the great things we do at Engage Church. Well, Ryan's right. He's got another book for me to read to you today. You know what it's called? Ryan and Rufus go to church. You remember Ryan's friend Rufus, his little monkey friend, don't you? I was so glad when Ryan called me. I missed him and his wangy twangy southern voice, didn't you? Well, let's see. Today's book says, uh, today is Sunday. It's church day, Ryan tells Rufus. Well, today's Saturday, but you know what? Tomorrow is Sunday, and we can do church together like this tomorrow. You guys know that, though, don't you? We've been doing it for a while. Well, you know what? He's getting ready to go to church. He's putting on his socks and his shoes, and he's got Rufus all ready. And then it says, Ryan loves to go to church. So does Rufus. They're getting ready to leave to go to church. Did you used to get ready to leave to come down to engage church? We all did. And it was so much fun. And I can't wait when we can get back together again. Well, look at, there they are. It says, everyone is very friendly. That sounds like engaged church, doesn't it? Good morning, Ryan. I'm glad you're here. I see you brought Rufus today. Everybody knows his monkey, Rufus. Look at all those people. It says the church is full. There are babies. Do you remember the babies? Like there's baby Margo and baby Lucy and, and baby Mark and, and baby Ben and all kinds of little babies. And you know what? When we get back together, there might even be some new babies that you don't even know yet. Well, there are babies and grandmas and grown-ups and children and one monkey. Do you see the monkey? Is he here? No. Is he back? No. There he is. Look at, there's Rufus. He's right there with Ryan. Hey, wait a minute. Is Ryan looking back at someone? He must be saying hi to someone behind him. I always liked it when I was little and in church to turn around and wave to the people behind me and they always smiled and waved back. The whole family sits together. Rufus is quiet and still. Ryan wiggles and giggles. Shh! Mama whispers with a smile. Look at Rufus is sitting there so nice. Ryan's kind of wiggling around a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to sit still, isn't it? Well, it's time to sing. Ryan tells Rufus, everyone stand up and sing. That's like when Tom leads us in music and the other people that join him and sing along and play instruments, we stand up and sing. Look at Ryan sings very loud. I sang for you guys last week. I hope you sang along with me. We sang Jesus Loves Me. Well, even when he doesn't know the words, that's funny. Because sometimes I don't know all the words either. But I sing along. Next come Ryan's favorite part. The Bible story. 
that's when the pastor stands up there and talk, like Pastor Levi or me, Pastor Rich, and we tell a story from the Bible. Well, look at it. It says, that's Ryan's favorite part. Ryan holds on Rufus on his lap so he can see they're sitting right up front. And Ryan likes the story about the animals on the ark. You guys know that story, don't you? That's the story about, do you remember? Noah. Noah and the ark. And when it rained and rained and rained, and Noah had all the animals on the ark, which was a great big boat. And then what did God give as a promise at the end? Do you remember? Really bright and colorful. A rainbow. That's right. Well, when the Bible story is over, the pastor says, pray with me. That's what we do at the end of story time. This is such a cool book. Ryan closes his eyes, but not, not Rufus. Uh-oh, he's still got his eyes open. Amen, says Ryan. We do that too at the end. We say amen really loud, don't we? Well, let's see. What else do you think they do at church? After church, there's snacks and juice for the children. That's just like Engage. There's usually donuts and cookies and coffee for the grown-ups and water and bananas and other kinds of fruit. I bet you Rufus would really like a banana, wouldn't he? Ryan shares his cookie with Rufus. Yummy, says Ryan. That's nice of Ryan to share. Look at, I think it's time to go. Church is over and it's time to go home. Goodbye, Ryan. Goodbye, Rufus. See you next week. Ryan can't wait for next Sunday to come. You know, I look forward every week to Saturday morning story time with you guys and then Sunday morning church together too. It's going to be so much fun and it's going to be a big celebration when we can come back to the Clyde to have church together. You know, things will probably look a little different and maybe be a little different than what they were before, but it'll still be a great time to celebrate being able to have church together again. You know, I have one more book for you. It's a really special book, but it only tells a tiny part of a really big story. But I wanted to share just this little part with you, the beginning of the story of a little tiny baby named Moses. Do you want to read that book with me? All right. Here it is. It's got lots of colors and it's got kind of neat openings in that. You see that? That's kind of a fun and different book, isn't it? It says, Moses in the bulrushes. The bulrushes are like the plants that grow along the sides of a river. Well, there's a lot going on here, isn't there? There's a crane and ducks, and look at baby ducks. And here's a lady with, with kind of a different hat on. It's kind of like a headband, but it's kind of different. And there's a frog, and look what's there, a kitty cat. Well, it says Pharaoh was a mean king. That's Pharaoh over here. That's sad that he was mean. People were afraid of him, and he wanted to be unkind to God's people and hurt them. That's really bad. There was a family who loved God. They wanted to hide their baby from the king. Our baby will be safe in the basket, said his mother. So they put him in the basket. That's little baby Moses. The baby's mother and his sister crept to the edge of the river. They hid the basket among the bulrushes in the weeds because they were trying to protect their little brother. The baby sister said to their mother, I'll hide here and watch over him. God will keep him safe. He's right there. It's almost, the basket's almost like a little boat, isn't it? And she's right there watching over him. The little later, the princess, Pharaoh's daughter, you remember the mean Pharaoh, the king? His daughter came down by the river to take a bath. She was a very kind princess. She was really nice. Look at, there she is, and she's got a camel. And there's little baby Moses in the basket that's kind of like a boat. That's really cool. 
Well, the princess saw the baby, and she liked him, and she wanted to look after him as her own. So she was going to take care of little baby Moses. That's so wonderful. The baby's sister knew who could do the job. She ran home and brought her mother back to the palace. The princess asked the baby's mother to look after him, and they named him Moses. The princess was happy, and so was the baby's sister. But his mother was the happiest of all because she got to look after her own baby after all. Well, look at, there she is, and that's his mommy. That's the princess, and that's Moses' mommy and little baby Moses. And they're in a land called Egypt. And there's a guard that's going to watch over him. And look at, there's two silly kitty cats, too. Those kitty cats are everywhere, in our house and in the books. That's really silly. Well, you know what? Why I wanted to read you this book about this little baby is because this little baby Moses, God had a great plan for him. As he grew up, he had things for Moses to do that were amazing and wonderful. God had a plan for Moses from the time he was little tiny till the time he was an old man. And Moses did some super important things for God all the way along. You know, it's so important for us to listen to God and to do the things that God asks us to do. We're so thankful for every opportunity that we have to be who God wants us to be, to do what God wants us to do, and to be thankful for everything God has in store for us. You know, that's really cool that Moses had that opportunity from the time he was a baby. And you know what? You do too. God has a special plan for you to do special things in your life so that you get to be amazing and do great things for God and for other people. Do you guys have any ideas of what you might want to be when you grow up? There's all kinds of special things you could be. You could be a mommy or a daddy that's super special. That's one of my favorite things is being a daddy. And you could work in a store or on one of the big boats that are out in Lake Superior. Or you could work here at the Clyde. Or you could be a pastor and work at a church. Or you could be a pastor that travels to far away places and tells people about Jesus. They call those missionaries. Or maybe You'll learn how to play the guitar like Tom, and you'll sing really good, and you'll help people sing songs to God and sing worship songs that have wonderful words about God's love and loving Him and how God's with us all the time and how He helps us. You know, it's really going to be amazing to watch you guys grow up and see what God has in store for you. You know what? I'm praying for you as you grow up. Your moms and dads are praying for you. The whole Church of Engage is praying for you for when you grow up to be big and strong. It's going to be so great to see what God has in store for you. Well, you know what? We're going to say a prayer here, and then maybe, maybe, just maybe, well, Ruf, Ruf it. Rufus isn't here, but Ryan's here somewhere. Maybe I can find him before we leave. Can you guys put your hands together? Wrinkle your fingers up? Remember how they did this in the book that we read about Ryan going to church? Well, here we go. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for today. And we thank you for the Clyde and that we can have church here. We thank you for all the wonderful times we've had at the Clyde. And we thank you for all the times we're going to have that are going to be so super awesome when we get to get back together again. Jesus, we love you and we thank you for loving us so much. God, you are so special and you bless us in so many amazing ways. I thank you, God, for having a plan for each one of us, each one of the kids who are watching, and for their moms and dads and grandpas and grandmas and aunties and uncles and everybody we know. We know you have a plan for us, and you love us so incredibly much. God, we just thank you for today and for every day, and we pray that you'll all be with us tomorrow at church. Until we can get together again here at the Clyde, we thank you, Jesus, for everything you do. Please help us to be kind and to say thank you and please and to tell everybody that Jesus loves them. In Jesus' name we pray. 
amen. Did you guys say amen? Well, I don't, let me see if I can find Rufus. Just, I mean, Rufus, I keep saying Rufus. I don't mean his stuffed monkey, I mean Ryan. Where's Ryan? Well, hi guys, how are you? Well, did you enjoy my story about going to church? I can't wait until we can be back here going to church at the Clyde. It's going to be so awesome to meet you guys. And you can all meet Rufus too. And we can just have a good time singing songs about Jesus. And learning stories about Jesus and stories from the Bible. Oh wow! Hey, you know what? Well, there's a seagull. Do you see the... Oh, you probably can't see the seagull. And somebody's mowing the grass. Well, I, I, I should probably go. You guys have a great week. See Pastor Rich next week at Storytime Saturday. See you later.